Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Craft Night episode number eight. Thank you all for clicking on the video. I say it every single time, but I really appreciate you guys. Series has been going very well so far. If you don't remember in our last episode, we ended it off right about here where we built this thing for formula. It's our boat dock. We got commissioned to do it. He gave us 10 diamonds and I think six sacks of ink or wait, no, six ink glow ink sacks that's that's what they're called six glowing sacks and these 10 diamonds but yeah we're over here just because we were checking it out and this is where our last was on the server but we're gonna steal one of his boats i'm sorry formula we're stealing your boat and we are gonna head back to my house so we can get going on this episode we got a lot of stuff planned i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to do it all in this episode but we're gonna try to get a bunch of stuff done today and one of the first things that i got recommended was to throw a lead on this and then on my boat and apparently you would hold it there instead of it getting pushed away by every single octopus if you guys haven't been following the series you wouldn't know but geez these octopus in this river literally just fling my boats into the middle of the river every single episode lead lead number two so if all is correct i throw it here wait how do i throw it here wait how do i do this do i wait oh it's a drown no trident on this guy and even if he had a trident i don't have looting so i probably wouldn't get it but how do i do this with a lead i hate looking like a minecraft noob in these videos but i swear time and time again i just look like a noob oh it's another drown dude there's so many drowns in this world i'm confident that we'll find a trident soon enough i guess i'll take the l on this one because i really don't know how to connect a lead to one of these like it just doesn't work for me i'll throw one in there and one in here and i guess we'll just work on the other stuff i wanted to do in this episode i just found a lead in this chest and the word of the day is lead but don't just comment lead today you need to make a sentence using the word lead it can be any sentence in the world i'm gonna favorite some of my favorites we're evolving the item of the day to a sentence of the day okay i think that'll be more fun where are my name tags do i have name tags and oh here's two perfect so this one's kenzo the back one is our newest dog and you guys don't know his name yet i just thought of his name or i actually just figured out what i wanted to name him i should say and i'm gonna name him kyo just like that and that means here in japanese just like kenzo means wise one kyo is pure these are our two dogs they both start with k the two of them so that's pretty cool um there's also these guys outside right now so it's uh time to sleep if those things are outside you know it's your sign you just have not slept enough in this game but yeah what we're gonna do next is another comment suggestion you guys actually let me go ahead and just say this real quick you guys carry me through the series a lot of the times you guys tell me so many useful things i'm going to my enchantment table and i heard that you can go like this you throw a name tag in and then you just type the name of the name tag and then you can go ahead and put it on your animals so i did that and then we're gonna do one for keo as well so we got keo and kenzo we'll put them in here every mob on the server has armor on i don't get it or they're just holding something like i don't understand man let's get up here let's go over to our dog house and kenzo gets this one keo gets that one and now they are named guys i didn't know you could do this like i said comments are carrying me in this series but kenzo and keo when you look at them they now have names they also definitely have a lot of food in their bowl still so they're good i will just leave them out here to hang out and talk to each other look at them they're so happy i hope they're happy i, I actually don't know if they're happy i need acacia os whatever the acacia is how you pronounce it i really want acacia doors for this i think they would look so so good but unfortunately i don't think we have any savannah biome it's just that these doors like the birch doors this is the last thing i had if you guys don't remember i initially made this house out of birch and the doors have just remained birch everything else in the house has pretty much changed but the doors man they need to go very very soon i'm gonna cut this chest in half because i really don't think we need so much chest in such a small room if the point of this room is to conserve space i should not have a double chest in it and also one thing that has always confused me and i still don't know why i did it if you guys remember when i put it there um it's this cauldron i was confused when i put it there i was like i don't know why i'm putting this here it just stayed there forever but i think this is a much better spot for it just to make the interior of this place look a little bit cooler we got the chest and uh all the little stuff in this little cabinet corner thingy whatever you want to call that that's pretty cool i like that and now i have one more painting that i have no idea what to do with oh okay That'll look good for now. I bet you every single person that comes in is gonna try to get through that. Nothing back there. I just didn't know where to put that thing. So it's gonna be there until I build a room. There's eventually gonna be a room there. Time to start on our next project. We're gonna continue being an architect in this episode and we are gonna go ahead and build our bridge. I believe that I want the bridge to start around here and go all the way down there. Instead of having to run through my dock and then swim across the water, I can go out my front door and run across the bridge that comes from here and goes over there. It's a little bit more convenient. I don't have to jump over a boat every time or worry about anything 
everything like that. It's got to be a pretty grand bridge, though. That's the one thing. You know, if I'm building a bridge here, it's going to go across the entire sky and then drop down onto the floor level. And every single boat that goes down the river is going to go under it. So it has to look good from the underside as well. It's going to take some major dedication. And I think I'm going to do it in the same wood that I've been doing most of my builds in. Maybe add some terracotta in there, but who knows? I haven't built anything out in creative yet to even figure out what I want to do. This is just another freehand build. I did pretty well in my last episode with the freehand build for formula. So hopefully we can take more of that and do it over here. Let's start with some fences and just a bunch of spruce logs and dark stuff. I do know, however, I'm going to need a lot more spruce for this build. To begin this build, I think we have to start with a crafting table out here. Let's just plop this down right here and let's figure out where we want to exactly build this bridge, but not before we kill this guy. Okay, here we go. So to plan out where I want to start this bridge, I kind of want to start it a little bit down further, maybe like right here where this uh, shovel is. So we'll start with that, that, and this, and then we'll start with that as well, and that. What are you doing here, dude? Okay, that should be a pretty good start for our bridge. And I gotta take a quick trip over to Formulas. Hopefully his chest is still outside with all the materials used for his bridge because I think I left some stuff in there. Honestly, I'm just gonna steal it all. I don't think it really matters. He was giving me that anyway. But we're back at the dock we made. Oh my goodness, I love this thing. It actually looks so good. But yeah, this chest right here should have... Yep, it does have the stuff we need. Okay. And just like that, we are back. We'll park our boat here and we will get going on this bridge again. Let's see. So if it's there, it'll look pretty good. I honestly really like where it's going to be. We'll start by putting trap doors like this. And then I think right on top of that, we'll do one of oh dude a fireplace would look sick here too i experimented with fireplaces for the first time when we did that build for formula oh my goodness i just stripped that by accident i experimented with fireplaces for the first time they're a little expensive to make though i think you have to have like a lot of sticks coal and uh what's the other thing sticks coal and oak logs so yeah it does take kind of a lot you know what let me go ahead and sleep i'm gonna get a bunch of wood and i will see you guys when we're done gathering some resources so this could be the start of our bridge actually let's make it a little like winged on the outside so it's kind of slanted and kind of looking good all right so here is the framework for the bridge thus far obviously it looks kind of bad but i think any build that you're going to start on is going to look bad off the bat trust the process here as always i go ahead and detail stuff as we go but just to start things out and lay a foundation i wanted to start with something simple like this is that zombie have diamond armor or am i tripping that is diamond armor what what are the odds of this did he give me any he didn't give me any diamond armor. Bro, that zombie was hard to kill. I swear that was diamond armor. There's no way I'm wrong on that. But yeah, guys, it curves a little at the start and then it's gonna go straight just like this. It's gonna have a little bit of an outline handle rail too. I'm going under the bottom right now and I'm just cleaning it up so it looks a lot better. Cause like I said, people are gonna be going under this bridge a lot probably with their boats. And when people are traveling under the bridge, I don't want them to see an ugly mess. I want the bottom side to look coordinated as well. So we're gonna go like that. And yeah, it already looks a lot better from the underside. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a pattern like this as well there we go oh wait my axe just broke my efficiency five diamond axe literally just broke that's totally my fault i just completely disregarded the fact that it was about to break and uh yeah i let it break okay looks like in this video we're getting another axe and i'm also taking the comments from the last video into consideration people have been telling me that my enchantments are way off basically if you guys want to look at my armor enchants right now we'll go ahead and just pull them up since we're on the subject of the comment section as you can see here we have blast protection protection fire protection and more protection what i've learned is protection for on all of your gear is apparently the best way to do enchants i don't really know still but that's what my comment section yelled at me about so we're definitely going to make sure we get all protection enchants so we're gonna go like that here and then we're gonna go like this same thing on that side and i know these are sideways and these are up and down and that's on purpose before i can continue working on a wood bridge i actually need a new axe because because the amount of wood that i've already broken with my hand is not it so let's make some sticks real quick let's make a quick axe we'll go like this okay and over here we're only level 28 let's see what enchant we get unbreaking two yikes y'all already know how i'd be getting my levels in the server we're gonna go to the nether real quick i'll see you guys when we're done mining our quartz because i don't want to bore you as always all right 35 levels that means i'm able to enchant disenchant and enchant once again let's go ahead and try our luck with this unbreaking axe and it's literally just unbreaking three that is terrible okay um we're gonna try once again because we can enchant one more time and this time it's unbreaking three so 
Okay, it gives us efficiency four. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If I got two just unbreakings, that would have been really, really unfortunate. Anyway, I'm excited now that I have netherrack, and you might be wondering why, but it's actually a really helpful material to use for my build right now, just because it's super easy to break. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, we're done with our little foundation. We need to do it on the other side, but let's back up and see what it looks like. Come over to our dock to give it a fair look, and uh, oh, we can't even see it from there because of the bushes, but yeah, that's what it looks like from under at the moment. Honestly, looking pretty good so far. Obviously, we're going to do a little bit more detail as we get there. It looks a little bit harsh, the transition, so I think we'll just throw one of those right there, and that should make it look a little bit more seamless. There we are. We did both sides of it. This is what we're looking at right now, but that's not even close to where we're going to be at the end. Sprinkle some fences like this and see what it looks like. We got to remember that this is literally an entire freehand build, so everything I'm doing right now might not be what the final product looks like. Just a heads up, the fence accents are going to end up looking really good on this thing. The craziest part of this project for me is that I've actually never built a bridge in my entire existence on Minecraft. Might sound a little crazy, but it's true. I've just never had a reason to build a bridge, to be honest. Is that a baby villager's... What? I've never seen that. I don't think I can save him though. Wait, am I going to be able to get this guy? He's going to be running really fast. Hold on. Yeah, he's running fast, which means he can get to my house very easily. We might have our two villagers that we can start breeding, to be honest. I didn't even take a single villager. And I just realized I did that off camera. Hold on. Do they come down here? I have to check real quick. Yeah, they can. I realized I did that off camera. I literally have a zombie villager in here and... Now we have two. Guys, I did that off camera. I totally forgot to update that. I almost feel bad about it. But now we have two zombie villagers right there. And in the next few episodes, we will start the breeding process because we can definitely do that now. First, I have to transition them into real villagers and then I can do it. But still, wait, that's a trident zombie. Ow. I need to kill this guy and we need to see if he has the trident for us. Guys, it was literally two episodes ago where I told you to guess what episode I'm going to get a trident on. I don't want to speak too soon because there's a very low drop rate, but let's see. It's the moment of truth. I just have to not die to this guy because he is hitting me hard. Let's go. I leveled up. Okay. Yeah, no, no trident today. Unlucky. I guess I hyped it up too much because that guy was destroying me with that trident. Jeez, man. But yeah, no trident in my inventory. So we just keep going. Bridge is looking all right so far, but we need some lights under it. Throw a fence here and then a lantern on that. That looks pretty cool. On this side, I'll throw one here and right there. And now I have to fight this thing, bro. Hard difficulty is so annoying. Jeez, man. I enjoy the look of this personally. I think the look I might go for is just enforced with fences as well on the bottom because it looks like we need more pillars from the bottom. Okay, so we went ahead and detailed it a little bit. As you can see, we put some cool little slab designs i'll integrate it into this hill more a little bit later but we got this as well it's got a little cage and we even put a little light in the cage just so no mobs are spawning under it honestly what do you guys think i think it looks pretty solid so far the one part that we haven't even touched yet if you haven't noticed is uh the other side of the bridge every bridge or i think i think every bridge has two sides every bridge has two sides right anyway yeah i think every bridge has two sides except for mine because it, it doesn't and if i'm being honest i already tried this design on the other side it didn't work. I deleted it instantly. And now I have an idea of what I want to do. Something like that should work pretty well. I think this looks pretty solid. Of course, like I already mentioned in this video, when we end up rebuilding these two rooms right here, I'll build a walkway and make it look all cool with like a garden and fountains and stuff like that. But right now we just got the bare outline of our bridge. Anyway, wait, hold on. I think I, wait, do I hear something different? Did our baby... Nope, our baby's still a baby. I thought he turned into an adult. Never mind. Anyway, a few more things we want to do on our bridge. We're going to continue it in future episodes, but for this episode at least, what we're going to do here, of course, we'll go ahead and drop a lantern just like the one we have over on that side. We will enclose it behind a nice little fence like this. That should be about good there. Maybe even just randomly go like this too. I have an idea of what I can put in there, but we'll have to wait a sec to do that. Since I have three more lanterns, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to find the middle, which is right here. We'll go like that, and then we'll actually just put that down. Same thing on this side. We'll put it down and with these fences we can do a nice little lantern setup lantern there and that looks pretty cool for under the bridge making very good progress on this bridge now as you can see it has already come a long way but there's more to do like i think i already mentioned i want to put a roof on this thing so it's not going to be exposed to the sunlight and while we got this going let's go ahead and just add some natural looking bushes here also my sugarcane farm cannot be here anymore because there's already so much going on but yeah we're gonna pretty much just add some bushes and stuff make it look a little natural Okay, well, um, we ran out of leaves and I think we did pretty good. We haven't done any leaves along the sides yet because I still want to add depth to the sides. I want to have it pushing out a little bit more than it is right now. Oh, chain. I want a lot of chain armor and oh my God, he gave me two pieces. Let's go. But yeah, this is what we got. We put some leaves in here and we got bushes in between here. Like I said, I had an idea for this. I wanted to throw some bushes in there. We got bushes hanging around here. And then of course we got bushes along the other side. Our hill right here needs to be a little more seamlessly. Oh, wait. 
It's a third zombie villager, dude. I I don't know what's going on in this episode. I'm pretty sure, let me see. Uh, Options, yeah, the difficulty is on hard on the server and that's probably why this is all happening. I gotta kill this one, okay, there we go. Let's get this guy down to our room. I need to kill the baby. I don't know if it's a good idea to kill the baby, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We're gonna get these two guys in here now. Get in. Wait, he just died because I had thorns. Oh my goodness, I am such an idiot. I'm so greedy too. The only reason that happened was literally because I decided to kill the baby for an adult. And uh, yeah, that backfired on me. I forgot I have thorns on this thing. Oh my God, that's so unfortunate. Anyway, our bridge is done. It works, it's functional. Of course, we still need to do a lot of designing on it. And I think I'm gonna save the, wait, what? That squid was just floating. I, I hope you guys saw. I'm going to zoom in on that. Well, like I said, we got a nice little entrance here and then it's functional on the other side as well. The coolest part about this side is it's such a seamless entrance up. It literally, you only go up one block, but it goes through like, you know, like the staircase, the slab and the trap door. So yeah, it looks really good. I'm very, very proud of it so far. A lot of accent work to do still as well as the ceiling. But like I said, that'll be in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's just... If that creeper exploded this, I would have been so mad. But let's go ahead and just end it before that happens. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you so, so much for watching the video. I really, really appreciate it. Comment any suggestions or anything you saw me do wrong in this one because I've realized I do a lot of stuff wrong. But that's going to be it for me today. It has been your boy Kaz. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you so, so much for watching all the way until the end. I'll catch you all later. Peace.